Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about data cleaning. More precisely, we will talk about data cleaning as well as visualization in Microsoft Power BI. For this tutorial, I have taken a data set from Kaggle. The data set name is Zomato. I will share the link of the data set as well for your practice. So in this data set, what we are having is we are having the URL, we are having the address, we are having the restaurant name, then what is the rating of that restaurant, what kind of cuisines they offer and what is the cost for the two people. So we have these kind of details. So we have to analyze and visualize this. But before that, we have to clean this data. So in this video, I will talk about everything from step one till the end. So please stay tuned. Please watch this video till the end. And if you feel there is some issue or you feel you want to have some clarification on any particular step, please comment below so that we can discuss it further. Also, if you're new to this channel, please do subscribe if you are looking for data analytics roles and interested in analytics. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, as you can see, this is the screen of Power Query Editor. You can come here from Excel or Power BI. Right now, I have used Microsoft Power BI through which I've imported this data set. Right, and now we are in Power Query Editor. So first of all, as you can see, this first particular row, we have the headers of the columns, but it should be in the headers, right? So what we can use is we can click on this particular icon and click on use first row as headers. So Power Query will automatically detect this row as headers and it will show as headers. Now it looks better, right? Now first step, what we will do is we will delete those columns which are not required for our analysis so first of all url right now url is of no use right so we can delete this so i have selected this particular column then address also i don't want i do want the city name that is there afterwards right then uh, or online order is fine book table is fine rate is good boat is good phone we don't need so I don't need to call anyone right now. I just need to do analysis on the restaurants, right? So I'll delete the phone. Then location is fine. Then uh, restaurant type is fine. Dish liked. I don't need this or you can keep this also. So I'll unselect that again. Cuisines is also fine. Approx cost is also fine. I don't need reviews underscore list. Anyway, it is empty most of cases. And this is also not needed right so these columns I don't need what I'll do is I'll right click and click on remove columns so what the power query has done is it has removed all the selected columns all right now our next step should be the column names right so for example this is my restaurant name so to to make it more clear I'll just write it as restaurant underscore name. All right. This is my online order. If it is a online order or not, then book table is fine. This is my rating. It is three star rating, four star rating, 4.5 star rating. So rating is a better word. Votes is fine. Location is also fine. This is my restaurant type. Right. So I can write it as type because we know this is the data set of restaurants dish like this fine cuisine is fine this is my cost for two right so i will just write cost to make it more easy so this is list in type right if this is cafe or all these sorts so i can just write it as so initially also i have seen there is one type so what exactly was this let me just extract all the rows okay it is bakery cafe food I can write this as subtype right now this is my type and if you want to drag this you can make it close to that so that it makes more sense type and subtype all right now I want this is fine cost I want to make it as city 
all right so our column names are fixed these are sorted now i will clean each and every column step by step i will start with the column rating if i click on rating right and load more what you will see is there would be various ratings like 1.8 1.9 2.0 right but there are these kind of ratings blank hyphen and if i go at the bottom new i don't want this maybe i i should need zero for all these uh, elements so what i want i want them to be replaced by zero right so what i'll do is now i filtered all these three elements i'll just right click and replace value with replace with zero similarly for blanks i'll replace values with zero similarly i have to unfilter all and just select hyphen so that i can replace hyphen also with the zeros right click replace value replace with zero all right so now my three elements should have been replaced with zero let's see if i drill down you will see only zero where are my other values like 1.8 1.92 three rating four rating so what i have to do is i have to remove these filters as you can see in this uh, filtered rows what is the condition i have filtered rating should be equal to blank or hyphen or new so i have to remove these filters so i'll just click on x and delete similarly this filtered rows there is the filter of hyphen i guess see there is a equal to hyphen so i'll just unfilter this as well delete now you will see ratings will pop up perfectly so it is being replaced with zero now again there are some issues or challenges you can say if you see same value has been occurring multiple times for example 1.8 is twice right then 2 is also twice 2.1 is also twice so what the problem is there is a gap so but before that what i'll do is i'll remove the rating 5 so for that what i have to do is i'll i'll just right click on the column replace values bracket 5 replace with blank nothing so i just don't want this if i click okay so in each row it will be removed see so we know this is rating out of 5 or what we can do is we can make this column as as well out of 5 to make it more clear oops yes right so it makes more sense it is more clean now you can use this in your calculations as well but again as i was talking about if you see same number is same value is coming again and again like 1.8 is coming twice 2.0 is coming twice 2.1 is coming twice why there might be some space after these numbers so what to do so we have to trim these numbers so i'll right click on the column i'll transform and i'll click trim so this is a magic what you will see is it has been reduced to distinct values see 1.82 2.1 2.2 .2 till 4.9 so these are our distinct values okay so now my rating column has been fixed perfectly similarly if i want to do the same with cost so if i see if i load more to see the complete list i can see there is null i want to replace null with zero so i'll just select null right click replace values replace with zero this is a step ahead to clean the data otherwise there is no requirement as such again i'll just unfilter this all right so now my cost column is also cleaned all right if i come to other columns for example restaurant name this looks good to me apart from this one particular row 
So what I'll do is I'll just do it manually. I'll just right click replace value. I'll copy this again and replace with this and all these special characters replaced by cafe cafe down the alley. Right. So now this is also fixed. If I come to online underscore order, if I load more, so this is either yes or no. Right. So this is perfect. Similarly, book under ta book table. If the table has been booked or not, yes or no. So this is also perfect. Right. So if you want to change the data type also from ABC, you can do that. If you want to make it true or false, you can do that. But right now, yes or no is perfectly fine. Right. Similarly, here also you can change the data type. Rating has been fixed. Vote looks good. Then location is also fine. Type and subtype, dish like cuisines. These are all fine. We have to visualize this now. So, but before that, if I have to, you know, visualize on one particular thing. For example, if I say, tell me how many out of these restaurants provide North Indian cuisine. Can you tell that? So for that, we need to understand the cuisine column. So this is my column cuisines. You can have, you can see in each row, it can be North Indian, Mughlai, Chinese or Thai. It can be Mexican, cafe. So how you will, you know, identify which are the restaurants which are providing North Indian cuisine. So what I'll do is for that case, I'll create one additional column, conditional column, where I will say it is North Indian restaurant all right if this column cuisine column contains operator it can be equal doesn't equal to begins doesn't begin ends doesn't end i want contains north indian north indian right if it is containing north indian my output should be yes it is a north indian restaurant otherwise no i will click ok so after this I will have one more column with the name of North Indian restaurant. If I drill down, you will see it is either yes or no. So now from here, you can see which are my North Indian restaurants. If I just filter yes, you will see which are my North Indian restaurants. Similarly for other cuisines as well, you can do the same. If you want to filter this on the basis of dishes, you can do that from here or uh, this is already filtered on the type and subtype. So we are all sorted for visualization, but there is one more thing right now. There are so many duplicates in this particular table. If I say the restaurant name, it should come once because there can be multiple, multiple uh, records for each of them. I want only one record. So what I will do is first I will sort on the basis of rating. Sort descending. <clears throat> right. So now highest rating is on the top. Now I want to delete the duplicates. If I click here, right click here, I click on remove duplicates. I will remove the duplicates from this particular click. Right. Again, see, there is one more symbol based restaurant name, which is wrong. So I'll replace this. I'll copy this, replace with this. So this should be Santa Spa Cuisine. All right. So there is one thing. So you must be figuring out or you must be thinking why I sorted on the basis of rating. So the, right now there is no difference. Even if I don't sort this, if I am just cancel this and see now my data is unique. There is no duplicate. But if I have to delete the topmost records or bottommost records, so I have to sort on one particular basis. So now if I say I have to delete this on the basis of descending order, if I am uh, creating this descending order and the ratings, if for example, if there is a restaurant name Jalsa with the rating of 4.1 as well as 3.9, I 
and you say I want to keep Jalsa with the rating of 4.1 and I want to delete Jalsa with the rating of 3.9 so what I'll do is I will sort rating from ascending to descending right so top highest rating should be on the top and the bottom uh, lowest should be on the bottom so in that case then if I click right click on the column and say delete duplicate remove duplicates then it will delete the bottom most first and it will keep the top most rows intact right but again there is one more catch in this the point is step one is uh, uh, if you are sorting this on the basis of ascending and then you are deleting but then this step deleting this particular uh, uh, on the basis of a restaurant name it won't consider the previous step it won't understand that it has already been sorted for that you have to use buffer for example if you have to delete this so what I'll do is I'll sort this on the basis of descending right now if you see there is one formula over there so now you have to write one formula table dot buffer bracket open and then bracket closed enter so what buffer does is buffer keeps your step in the memory otherwise there is no step saved in the memory for the next step to happen when the next step is being applied it doesn't think of the previous step but once the buffer is applied it will think it will see the memory if it is the sorting then it will delete on that particular basis right so now if I just delete this from here now if I right click and remove duplicates this is perfect so now we are sorted just one more thing the name of the table let's say it is Zomato data set okay Zomato all right so now we are done with the data cleaning part in Microsoft Power BI all right guys so in the next video I will continue this tutorial where I will visualize on the same data set in that visualization I will show you how to make the picture where you can see the restaurant wise analysis which are the restaurants which are top rated which are the restaurants which have been booked most of the times which are the restaurants which are catering to the online market which are the topmost in that particular business and then if you want to analyze on the basis of location like for example if you want to see how many restaurants are there in Indrapuram or how many restaurants are there in Whitefield so you can do those kind of visualizations we will do this on the basis of type and subtype as well as well as cuisine so if you want to analyze the number of North Indian restaurants or number of restaurants which are providing you burger let's say so how many restaurants are there and in how many cities so city wise analysis will also be there so stay tuned for the next video I will showcase all the things thanks a lot guys for watching this video